In the powerful and visceral narrative of period pain, Kapanel Matlua immerses readers into the brutal reality of post-apartheid South Africa through the eyes of the protagonist, Masachaba. Through the intimate medium of journal entries, the book delves into Masachaba's innermost thoughts, emotions, and faith, providing a raw and unfiltered account of her experiences. The title itself refers to Masachaba's struggle with severe menorrhagia and endometriosis, a condition that shapes her desire to pursue a medical career. Within the pages of her journal, Masachaba bears her soul, chronicling her journey of grappling with her brother's tragic suicide, which leaves her with a lingering sense of betrayal. As a junior doctor, she faces the harsh realities of the profession, including exhausting working conditions, a crumbling healthcare system, and the moral turmoil of becoming desensitized to the suffering of her patients. Masachaba's life intersects with that of Nayasha, a Zimbabwean co-worker who becomes her close friend and roommate. Through Masachaba's words, readers witness the xenophobic experiences Nayasha and other non-South African colleagues endure at work as well as a series of xenophobic attacks within their community. Their friendship raises eyebrows and draws scrutiny from South African colleagues, with some questioning Masachaba's choice to associate with someone outside her nationality. This tension puts Masachaba in a difficult position, torn between loyalty to her friend and the pressures of societal expectations. Motivated to make a difference beyond her medical career, Masachabu initiates a petition to end xenophobic attacks in her community. However, the outcome of her efforts leads to a catastrophic event that shatters her mental state and leaves her disillusioned with the world her faith, and herself. While period pain grapples with raw and agonizing themes, it also interweaves moments of humor and laughter. Masachaba's wit and her complex friendship with Nayasha bring moments of levity to the narrative, providing a balance to the overarching intensity of the story. The exploration of their friendship feels authentic with Nayasha portrayed as a sharp-tongued and fierce individual, while Masachaba relies on her approval for self-validation. The trajectory of their relationship evokes a sense of sadness, and readers may find themselves grappling with conflicting emotions towards Nayasha. Period pain sheds light on the collateral damage women endure during societal unrest, and serves as a testament to the journey of self-discovery and resilience. It confronts challenging topics head-on, painting a vivid portrait of the post-apartheid South African landscape and the personal struggles of its characters.